Let me tell you why I think low-fat diets are just plain stupid, all right? And I'm going to back it up with some research. Now, Ansel Keys. I have a little bit of beef with Ansel Keys because he's the guy who started the whole, you know, fat and cholesterol is bad for you. It was very selective research. I'm not a fan of it. I think it's absolutely wrong. And so the starvation study that he did was composed of 32 male subjects. And these male subjects typically ate about 3,000 calories a day to maintain their weight. Now, did these guys lose weight? Yeah, they lost weight. First 12 weeks, the average weight loss was 12 pounds. Second 12 weeks, the average weight loss was 3 pounds. So as you see, the, the rate of weight loss reduced or, or slowed down tremendously from that first 12 weeks to that second 12 weeks. When you reduce the number of calories that your body takes in, your body goes, what the heck is going on? What happens to all that food? And so what it does is it reduces the number of calories that it expends. Okay? Calories in and calories out are dependent upon each other. They're not independent variables. They affect each other, so they compensate for each other. That during this rehabilitation period, their symptoms actually got worse. Their depression actually got worse during this period when they were allowed to eat more calories. This is what trips me out because these guys were eating as much as 8,000 calories a day and were still hungry. Okay? The low calorie diet somehow it, it, it rearranged their body's ability to know when it was full. By the end of the rehabilitation period, the subjects had added an average of 10 pounds of fat to their pre-experiment levels. They weighed 5% more than they had when they first went on, when they started the study. They had 50% more body fat. Like when people think about low calorie diets, so like 1,000 calories, 1,200 calories, 1,500 calories, that's not a low calorie diet, it's a semi-starvation diet. If you look at the other side of the research, the diets that do work are the high fat, high protein, low carbohydrate diets, unlimited calories, okay? High quality foods that keep your insulin levels in check, which, which we'll talk about on another day. Those are the diets that guarantee long-term success for the most part.